greatest crime you could ever commit is to worship besides Allah. Secondly, he says, What does that mean? Your parents. To be unkind to your parents. We're not talking here of obedience in that which is wrong, but we're talking of that which is reasonable. You are unkind to them. You might want to say, you know what, dad, I don't agree with you, but say it in a beautiful way. You need to respect and be kind. There is a difference here between respect, kindness, and on the other hand, obedience. You obey them for as long as they don't instruct you to do something haram. But when it comes to kindness, even if they've asked you to do something haram, you kindly excuse yourself. You respectfully excuse yourself. You have no reason to disrespect, dishonor your parents. And the third thing he says, now the hadith, Abdurrahman ibn Abi Bakr radiallahu anhu, he says the Prophet ﷺ was lying down. When he said, should I not inform you of the biggest sins you can ever commit? And while he was lying down, he said, shirk, that's association of partnership with Allah. Secondly, the disobedience of parents as I explained it. And he, he was lying down. Now he sat up. His face went red. And he said, Allah wa qawlu zuri wa shahadatu zur. Behold, false witness, bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. And he repeated it. Beware, bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. Beware. Bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. Beware, bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. Beware, bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. Beware, bearing false witness and claiming that which is false. The Sahaba say, Hatta kulna laytahu sakat. Until we all said, We hope he can keep quiet now. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You see, I notice how I repeated it. I'm sure a lot of you must have said, What's his problem? Well, can't he keep quiet? That's exactly what happened. He repeated it with a red face. He sat up. He said, watch out false witness amongst you. Not only the rain will stop, but it will earn the wrath and the anger of Allah. When Allah punishes you, it will come in such a way that you won't know daylight from the night. You won't know the morning from the evening. You won't know your left from your right. Let's make sure that we understand this hadith very clearly. You want rain, you want economy, you want wealth, you want goodness, you want happiness, you want Jannah ultimately. Listen to these words directly taken hadith muttafaqun alayh, which means there is no doubt upon the correctness of this hadith of Abdurrahman ibn Abi Bakr. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us a lesson. May Allah grant us the opportunity to engage in tawbah before it is too late. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never create dispute amongst us. May Allah help us resolve whatever disputes we may have amongst us. May Allah soften our hearts for the right reason. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never make us bear false witness for a dollar or a pound.